Guys, you have to forgive me as I am not feeling 100% right now. I've had a flu for about a week and it's in my throat area. So it's made recording videos a little bit tricky, but that hasn't stopped me from wanting to post another VHS gameplay video. And in this video, I am actually playing as the teen in VHS. I really wanted to showcase what that role was like and how you can beat monsters uh, with your teammates. But what I wanted to do specifically was showcase how the game works as a solo player because i suspect a lot of people will be playing solo in this game and to take that further i also wanted to showcase what the game was like when you don't use a microphone uh, or when you don't even listen to the voice comms of your teammates because a lot of people have been expressing to me that they're concerned that they will be at a massive disadvantage if they don't use a microphone and i won't lie to you you will be at a disadvantage because voice comms is instant and it's one of the best ways to communicate with your teammates but this game has so many inbuilt features that makes it 100% viable and possible to make really good plays with your teammates without having to hear them or speak to them as well. And so I'll be highlighting those in my gameplay in this video and showcasing you an item that actually really helps you with making those plays when you're a solo player. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Check to see if you're subscribed because I have more VHS gameplay coming out in the future i actually sat down with the devs and interviewed about six of them whilst playing some teen with them versus a doll master for a q a video and i think it's really fun it's about 30 minutes long so if you've got some time in the week next week you can just pop it on with a cup of tea listen to the horrifying sounds of vhs and some of the things the devs had to say hope you guys enjoy this gameplay though and i'll catch you on the next one Alrighty, i'm so excited we're getting into teen finally uh before we do get in here's the weapons by the way so many weapons 12 total uh each one of them has skins and modifications as well so you know my flamethrower i will have a increased flamethrower range but it will take longer for it to start uh you can also see the stats you know how long it takes to craft and uh how much charge it has as well so there's a lot of cool information in this I, i'm bringing a walkie talkie as well you can see it here the walkie talkie uh it, it, this this offering uh that i'm bringing prize i should say sorry is going to spawn a walkie-talkie on my person which is actually a really useful item for anyone who doesn't have a microphone or doesn't want to partake in voice chat because it will actually reveal the exact locations of all my teammates and so there are items in the game that literally help you play as a solo player or as someone who is not keen on the communication aspects of games but i've said this before in my previous videos the, the, the in-game HUD, the ping system, makes this so good. So we have spawned at stage, and you can see you know, Jovo's in the library, Lordly's in the garden storage, and Wood is on the office stairs. And so as you play this game, you will learn uh, the, the different locations and, and how they work. I'm going to grab the, uh, the, the firebomb as my weapon. Um, when you do start playing VHS, you have to unlock these weapons uh, experience-wise, and you do that by crafting and using them. And so, you know, for example, for this fire station, uh, the weapon that you have at level one is the flamethrower and the more you use the flamethrower and craft the flamethrower the more you'll be able to then get experience to unlock a firebomb and then after that unlock a sunstone uh we just saw the monsters uh, aura there that's because a team put down a noisemaker and the monster stepped on it so very good information uh, this game is very sound centric you listen for the terror loop and the footsteps and uh use that information to then know if you need to hide as a monster uh, or as a teen we can see now with this ping here jovo is in chase and so if i wanted to i could actually activate my walkie talkie and so there he is running around like that there's another teammate basically stalking and one's down there crafting and they've just finished their enigma which is a weapon that wood will have to craft up jovo has gone down though unfortunately oh hello we got a teammate here oh that was a plague oh he's feasting there we go Interesting. I wonder if he's going to keep feasting. That'll be interesting. So I want to try and get close so I can set up a bit of a play here. He's gone out the back, which means he could come through this garden shed. Something to note. We might just fold over and say hi to Kyle. How are you doing, Kyle? I don't know if that's going to hold him back. He can't step into it. Looks like he's coming around the other way now. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Kyle got hit as he vaulted. I farmed Kyle. Oh, I'm a bad teammate. I'm going to lead him down here. He's very fast. I'm not going to be able to throw my weapon. I'm subdued due to my teammate taking a hit. 
But the whole point of bringing him down here is that this is a ridiculously tight corridor area. And he can't approach me without a how. I'm going to try hiding. He probably heard that, didn't he? He did hear it. Oh, dear. This is not going so well. Good job, Kenzo. I think Kenzo's a monster. So now that I'm uh, downed, uh, I have the opportunity to go around in this spectral form and find these little guys, uh, orbs, which will basically recover my health bar um, and, and allow me to be picked up quicker. So instead of just, you know, holding a button, AFKing whilst you're downed, you've got this little mini game to play as a teen. You don't have to play this. You could go AFK. It will make it so harder for your teammates to pick you up eventually, though. Um, also, whilst you're in this mode, you can start looking for the, the Book of the Dead. Um, you won't hear it. It makes a sound when you're in the spectral form and dead. It doesn't make a sound otherwise. Um, but it does give you like a, an opportunity, I suppose, to, uh, to, to scout out the area a little bit. What I want to do here is come up to these stairs, because this is where I suspect that there's going to be a teen to pick me up. And there is. Hello. How you doing, Lolly? And we'll see if Lolly wants to hear how he does. Perfect. Uh, so it, it's really important when you're playing teen um that you do kind of do some of these things that make it easier on your team this is not a solo game like dead by daylight can be a very solo game for example whereas you know vhs you do actually have to work with your team quite a bit uh which is why i think a lot of people are so concerned about the fact that if you don't have a microphone or you don't want to communicate on voice that you're at a massive disadvantage i totally appreciate that i think what i'm going to do is try and craft an eye here on the uh, the curse station we've got an enigma and we have a cross. And currently, no one seems to be in chase. The devs are a lot better at hiding than I am, which makes me a, a keen target. I've just missed my skill check. Lighting up the station red, giving uh, Kenzo information that someone's crafting down here. Oh, Lordly's in uh, in fight. You see the, uh, the, the banish at the top started, but went away. It was the Holy Sigma type. So got a little bit of uh, progress there, but that indicates that the monster is around shop hallway. Potentially in chase with Lolly. We can uh, activate our, our walkie talkie in just a second. What I'm planning on doing is trying to use this eyeball from afar with the walkie talkie if someone's in chase. So Lolly keeps pinging. Oh no, he's come downstairs, hasn't he? Yes, he has. Oh dear. All right, so I'm going to have to try and gain some distance and push towards this green thing that Lordly is putting out. Oh, both of them are here. Amazing. Oh, he hasn't howled, so you can't disable weapons just yet. Hmm. What I want to do is potentially come over here. So we're going to heal up. This is a very safe place to heal up. Because I can vault out. This game doesn't have, like, looping light dead by daylight in the, the same degree. But there is decent opportunities to loop. If you, uh, you know, can find the right, right areas. This map, for example, has that. I do want to try and use my teammates here with this uh this this eyeball and see if i can't get something going oh there he is so a ping double ping to to indicate danger and move backwards here okay he is running fast little sunstone my plan is to get out of the howl range here like this turn on my walkie talkie and use my eyeball maybe i can find someone in chase Oh, there is a ping. There he is over here, apparently. Oh, there he is. Amazing. Love that. So the ping from Lordly gives the information, and I'm able to find the uh, the hit with the eyeball. The eyeball is such a good weapon. If you can get that range on it and get away, uh, then you can't be disrupted. And that's how I died in my monster gameplay. If you want to go check it out, top right corner of the video uh, versus the devs as werewolf on this map, actually, as well. Funny that. All right, so we're going to craft an RC flyer just because I just want to show you the cool sounds that play. I love the sound design in this game. Um, just the, the, the cool elements that each weapon skin kind of has some different, you know, sound effects as well. Oh, how's he going to approach this? There he is. I can hear him. Come on. Lead him for the Enigma. Oh, I just realized that's a stun. That wouldn't kill. Oh, but there is a player here. I'm going to slow bolt in. All right. They can you know, go deal with that. I'm going to try and get my RC flyer going so I can craft it up. Uh, yeah, all the different weapons have, make some really good sounds. And even the skins have like, you know, different uh, different sound effects. Oh, I'm in chase. So I'm going to self ping that and run towards the courtyard. The courtyard is just such an easy place to link up with people. 
I see someone is in basement storage. Am I in chase? Oh, there's someone on stage. Amazing. Does he have a weapon? Yeah, Drovo does have a weapon. So this is a sunstone. Quite an interesting weapon. It's like area of effect, see? So you can set this up right here. And basically, <laughs> unless we get howled, which unfortunately we did there, uh, he can't, I don't think he can actually use the, the weapon whilst he's subdued, but it's still threatening because uh, you basically press the fire button and it fires from that little orb there. And so Jovo is able to use this as a uh, as a, a an area of effect and, and kind of just try to defend the area. I believe that, that a, a chalky bar for me. Wow, thank you so much. Let me pick up the candy bar. Use that. Look at my health bar. Go up. That's a really useful, really useful item for the teens. There's a limited amount of them on the map. The monster can bring prizes to reduce them as well. Uh, and, and it's a way to uh, essentially get your, your permanent lost health back. There are a couple of weapon mods in the game that even do that as well um, on, on certain weapons. So some interesting, you know, dynamics because the health can't get it back unless you find the, uh, certain things. Oh, no. He spotted me. I'm just always in the wrong spot. All right. I'm going to start running towards the courtyard. Oh, no. I'm going down. No. Oh, no. Oh, crap. What the hell? Did Kenzo do that on purpose? We'll never know. Kenzo do be kind of ass though. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kenzo. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> we'll be spawning here. Jovo! Ah! <laughs> Jovo had the right idea, but I don't think he could have used it in time. Oh no, I'm in trouble. I'm gonna follow the person with the weapon. Please, Ward! No! I didn't realize he went around the corner. Damn. Uh, so I'm dead, but the game is not over. This is a really interesting element where you have to now find the Book of the Dead. We kind of talked about it before. Uh, it is hidden in areas like this um, and, and just around the map. And when you're dead, it makes a sound so you can try and find it. I hear it. There it is. So we can ping this. You can see the, the ping shows the uh, the chest. And these guys are going to probably run straight over here. So he's going to try and unlock the Book of the Dead here. We can watch what that hat looks like for the unlocking process. And uh, then we can... Uh, Basically ping our dead body in just a second here. So I'm over here. Oh, monster. So we need a ping. But this is where the monster is. Hopefully these guys get the idea. Here we go. Big revives happening. Nice one. He's going to know that we've revived here. So we may want to move away and try and hide a little bit. Oh, here he comes. Where did Dover go? There he is. Oh, and there's a shock sphere going in as well. Oh, the shock sphere didn't get hit. That's so good. He's here. I think he's got eyes on. He's going to get that. Yes. Nice. All right. I'll uh, ping here. And all we need now is the flame weapon to banish the monster and get this back. Uh, now I have a choice to make as a teammate. Do I go to a, 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 a fire station and craft that myself? Or do I try and craft my RC flyer as a stun weapon? That's an interesting dynamic. I'm not sure which one I want to do. We only have one flame weapon currently on Jovo. Oh, oh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> we do not need any of those elements. Wow, these devs 100% carried me in this game. I feel like I, I other than the eyeball play, that I made earlier in the game. Uh, this was a massive team effort. Everybody got one wound each. And uh, well, not surprising. My score was the lowest on the team. But GG's to Kenzo and GG's to everybody in this game. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this little team gameplay. Giving you a taste of what it's like to play as a solo in VHS with no comms, no mic. Um, the next gameplay that you'll see of team is going to have almost too many people in it as I uh, invited a couple of extra devs to answer some questions for you guys. But yeah, this is uh, what basically VHS is like as a solo player. You craft, you kill, you heal, you try to play that team player role. And you can obviously do that with microphone. Uh, I just wanted to, to give you an example of what it's like when you don't have that. Hope you enjoyed. Hit that thumbs up button. Check to see if you're subscribed because more VHS gameplay coming out soon. Uh, and you know, why don't you check out? There's quite a lot of it already up. One of the few channels that actually has my own gameplay on the channel before the beta comes out. I'm really uh, privileged to, to be in this position. Catch you guys on the next video.